Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. There are so many new things hitting Dollar Tree and I'm gonna show you a few. I'm Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. Welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, I am super excited as always because I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And uh, I'm gonna be showing you some of the things that I picked up. Some of them are just kind of some of my favorite things. Some of them are um, kind of surprises. Some of them are new things. And then, uh, yeah, some of them are just kind of random. Dollar Tree is really strange right now. There are that, it's kind of that weird time in between when all the fall and all the Halloween and all the Christmas things are gonna start hitting stores very, very soon. And, uh, you know, you just kind of got to hunt and kind of search. And uh, I did find a cute, a few cute things. So I'm super excited about them. Um, I'm going to jump in with just kind of what's on top of the pile here in front of me. Now, I know that some of you guys have seen these before in your stores, but this is so cute. I've not seen this before. This is like a little, um, kind of reminds me of a caboodle. Does anybody remember caboodles? And um, put your makeup in it. You could definitely put crafts and store things in it. It's got this great handle. I don't know how uh, sturdy that handle is, especially if there's something that's very heavy in here, but I was thinking that um, this could be perfect for like your bathroom. If you wanted to put medication on it, maybe put it up high. You could certainly put makeup in it. There's a lot of different fun things you could do. I was even toying with the idea because these sides are about the same. Um, you can put it side by side and use it for storage like that if you really wanted to and just kind of keep things in there. Um, the other thing that I grabbed, this is in no order by the way, because this pile is like a Tetris pile. I'm terrified I'm gonna to touch one thing and everything is gonna start falling down. Um, felt rolls. I love these because they were great fall colors and I grabbed those because I'm gonna be doing some fall, pro, fun, some fall DIYs very, very soon. Um, it's still gonna be 400 degrees outside when I do them, but yes, fall is going to be here on YouTube land very soon. And um, I thought those were great, great little uh, materials. This is something else I grabbed. Um, I grabbed a five by seven size of these as well, but um, these great frames that have these kind of uh, stands on them, I'm gonna use these for my real estate business. I'm going to use these for welcome signs and open house signs and sign-in sheets and things like that. So um, grabbed a couple of those. I've got to figure out where to keep all my real estate stuff because um, I have a craft room. I don't have an office. So yeah, that's a, that's a whole other thing. Uh, I bought this thing because honestly, it, I thought it looked fun and I just like to be silly and be a kid sometimes and relax. And uh, I'm going to put together this track set and uh i'm gonna play with this little car yes that is right you heard it um i was also thinking maybe for a christmas village or something like that when the christmas houses start coming out at dollar tree um i assume anyway with all these pieces in here that it creates a track that looks like that i'm going to be very disappointed if it does not but um if you've used these before let me know and it had a little blue SUV and uh, you guys know that I now have a blue SUV. So uh, I thought that was cute. I thought that was really cute. Um, let's see. I've got kind of like a table, my little rolling table here. And then I've got some stuff over here to the side too. So that's why I'm going back and forth. I bought one of these little doll houses because I was thinking for a Halloween scary house. I think I'm gonna take this, I think I'm gonna paint it black and I'm gonna outline the windows in like white or gray or something and maybe put some candles behind it and poke out some of the, you know, well, I won't have to poke out the windows because they're open windows, but um, I'm gonna turn it into like a haunted house. I think that would be a really fun DIY. So if you want to steal that idea, go for it. That's fine, that's what we're here for. Um, these balloon sticks, I thought that these could be great actually for my real estate business as well. I have learned in the uh, couple of open houses that I've done, I don't like going to get balloons. I don't like balloons blowing around in my car. I don't like going and getting them at the grocery store. I don't like walking out with a dozen balloons. So I'm gonna try this and see if it works. These are stakes that uh, they're pretty long as you can see. And uh, they have this balloon kind of hook on the end of it. And then you blow up a balloon regular with your mouth. And um, then you tie it on the end here and you can stick them into the ground. But I was actually thinking I could then take zip ties and zip tie them onto my open house signs. So um, I'm gonna try it. The, um, 
the day that I'm shooting this video, I actually have two open houses this weekend and um, I'm gonna give it a try. Underneath this Tetris pile, there are some balloons as well. And um, hopefully the Dollar Tree balloons are good. We're gonna find out. Um, these uh, bar mops that you can get from Dollar Tree, I love these. You guys have seen me haul these many, many times. Be careful when you're getting them though, because there are two packs and then there are single packs and you wanna make sure that you get the two packs. Now, this one is a hand towel, but it's the same uh, kind of texture as this. So I grabbed this as well, cause I'm gonna see. I like using these in my kitchen, honestly. Uh, probably not so much the hand towel. I was thinking when I got this though, I would use this maybe for um, my antiquing wax and stuff. And one of my subscribers actually left me a comment and I thought it was actually a good comment. Uh, she suggested that I take these and cut them up into strips and use those for smaller rather than using the entire towel when I'm doing like my antique and wax or any kind of stain or anything. So thank you. You know who you are that left that comment. And then the bar mops, I freaking love them. I love them so much. I use them in the kitchen all the time. They're my go-to towels. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Um, this little sign I thought was cute. I thought it was perfect for Christmas and for the holidays. And it's got this beaded kind of hook to the top. It always aggravates me though, that there's not one more bead or two more beads in here to keep this, you know, like that. But easy to fix that. This is just a staple. So pull that out, uh, feed another couple beads in there. And then you can probably put that little staple right back in the same hole. But uh, round, wreath kind of thinking behind it. Super cute, ready to do something like that. Um, these were in the uh, kind of area where like the socks and the bags and stuff are. They are drawstring tote bags, but they are blanks. They're actually plain. So if you have a Cricut, if you have a Silhouette, if you have any other kind of vinyl cutting machine, if you just have some, you can buy a lot of HTV or HTV uh, vinyl that is iron-on that are already pre-designed on Amazon. So thought that that could be really, really cute. And it's just a little drawstring bag. And uh, I'm going to make some, I think some fall things with those. Um, if you see these in the stores now, get them now. Chamois cloths in the automotive section because you can use these as snow in your Christmas villages. This is the perfect kind of texture for snow. And what I've done is I've used this on the base and then set up my little Christmas village and then sprinkled the, uh, the kind of fake snow on top of this and it glistens like it's snow and it looks really, really cool at night too. And it's thin enough that you can put the Christmas lights underneath it and it creates a really cool effect like the snow is glowing. Um, this is something I'm really excited about. So yes, you've seen these before. Have you seen the white steering wheel covers? Well, guess what I figured out? If you take the steering wheel cover off of here, you can stretch it over this wreath form. And then look at that. You've got a white wreath like that you can start creating stuff with. How cute is that idea? Um, you could probably even do two of these if you wanted to and stretch another one across the other side. So it, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about the green showing because obviously there's a lot of green there. How cute is that idea? Super, super cute. Actually, I just realized something. How would you stretch the other one through there? I don't know if that would work, but uh, it's a good thought, right? But still, if you covered it up with flowers, with snowflakes, with painted it white even, Love that, love that idea. And then if you were to add something like these, whoa, just almost had an avalanche. If you were to add something like these white flowers, how pretty are those? I really like these and they have these in a couple different colors, but I just gravitated towards the white. Like that's big enough that you could cover that up. I mean, that flower is probably too big to do a wreath, but you could 
very easily make a very pretty wreath with these. These kind of look like snowballs to me. That's kind of why I grabbed them. I was thinking these with maybe some white snowflakes or something like that, some glittery snowflakes. Um, I bought six of these, so that was cute. They are starting to get a lot of fall flowers in right now, which I do appreciate. And I did grab two of these wreath forms because I like using those wreath forms for Christmas stuff. Um, I'm gonna grab this so it doesn't fall because it looks like it's getting ready to fall. Uh, this uh, hand soap, you guys remember when my mom was here, um, I got this one and we did that haul together. I ended up giving her the lemon one and I found it again. So I was excited about that because I could get it back. And then I found this brand, uh, Delta. It's also Delta Home, which is this brand, but uh, they're just, the labels look totally different. But this is a rosemary mint scent. And um, I really like rosemary mint shampoo. Um, there's a brand that I like called Aveda that makes them. And then uh, this uh, Suave actually also makes a rosemary mint shampoo. So, or maybe they call theirs mint and rosemary. They're, they're, they call them different things. But um, they are here. And by the way, there's going to be a lot of links that are going to pop up on the screen here. And those links are just kind of shopping links. So if you, uh, you know, get some links for like the shampoo or the different things, definitely use them, click them because there's some great things that you can get. And uh, so many of these advertisers are running fantastic deals. So definitely check out the links in the description box that are popping up. Um, this little backpack I thought was super fun. Now this was not in the Dollar Tree section. This was in the plus section, but it was $5. And uh, I went to the doctor recently and uh, my blood pressure was through the roof and uh, I got to make some changes. And uh, the gym is going to be one of those changes. So this is going to be my gym bag. And I um, thought it was a great size. I kind of liked that it kind of looked a little outdoorsy. It's definitely a good size to throw a t-shirt in and um, a pair of shoes and a pair of shorts. I've got a pocket in the front here where I can put my wallet, my cell phone and different things. So um, I'm excited about that. And um, I will let you guys know how that journey goes because you guys hopefully will notice me slimming up. Um, <laughs> the other thing I grabbed, and I love working with these, especially with the holidays as well, these wreath ring packages. These are two, um, it's a great deal, two for one for $1.25. So what, what is that, 75 cents each? And uh, wait, dollar, yeah, we'll figure it out. And um, love these, love working with these and have a couple ideas actually for some new possibilities with those. Uh, let's see what else, what else? Grab some red candles because you know I'm gonna be making some sort of candle for um, Christmas coming up and uh, I wanted to get them now because you know how it is. Uh, speaking of Christmas, these were already out in my store and uh, I just dropped some stuff, hold on. All right, I'm back. Um, these were out in the stores already, and um, I have not seen these before. I bought six of them. I bought three in the green, and I bought um, two in the red, and or three in the red. Three in the green, three in the red. That's six, Jamie. And uh, you guys haven't figured out math. It's not my strong suit. But uh, check this out. So you can kind of see, if we get the tag out of the way, that uh, they change colors. See how there is green right now? And then if we watch it here for just a second, it's kind of getting a bluish color. Love that. And then it's going to get a orangey green or green color. And then it goes red and it goes to some other colors too, but super, super cute. Really, really like these. Uh, there goes the red. And uh, I thought that that could be really fun just for the driveway. Honestly, I, I have a long enough driveway and uh, six of these will work perfectly fine because I do have some other lights out there. So those are gonna be fun. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I'm trying to again play the Tetris game here. Um, I get headaches a lot and um, they are not fun and sometimes I get like face headaches. I don't know how else to describe it where I feel like my whole sinuses and everything. So I like to take an ice pack or something and just kind of pop it on my face. Well, that's what these are, this kind of watermelon slice. And then we've got an orange slice and we got a lemon slice. These are gel ice packs and uh, they're ice pack sachets. And um, they have this little hole here where you could 
like hang them up sometime somewhere. Honestly, I just keep these in the freezer. And as I use one, I will just throw it in the sink and then wash it, rinse it off, and then put it right back in the refrigerator, or not in the refrigerator, in the freezer. And uh, that's why I grabbed these, because I can take my glasses off. I can put that on my face and just not quite light there like this, but you know, something, something like that. And um, have these when I do get a headache. And I actually have a headache tonight, so. Um, I'm going to be using some of the other ice packs that I have in the refrigerator that are already cold. Um, these were fun. Grabbed these because, again, you never know when you're going to see this stuff pop up. I thought I had another version of these. Uh, this is squeakly birthday candle. Just super fun, right? Something to just kind of put in the closet. I have a closet in my hallway that's kind of like the the knickknack closet or the, the, it's not really gifting closet, but like I store like this kind of stuff and like my tape gun for shipping and just random stuff like that. So that's where that's gonna go. Um, I grabbed another one of these because I like to use these when I'm crafting as a tool, not just for like my vinyl or for a Cricut machine or anything like that. And um, I don't wanna use my Cricut one for the stuff I've been using it for like to scrape off cookie glue and things like that. So um, I grabbed that to use that in its place. Um, if y'all have ever followed me or if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love Sharpie pens. Maybe you don't know, maybe you're just learning that, but I love a Sharpie pen. So anytime I grab, I can gra find the Sharpies, I will grab them and these are the fine point um, Sharpies red, blue, yellow, and again, just I just like writing with them. I like writing notes with them and just like doing different things with them. And then in the plus section, I found this set. And this is the regular Sharpie markers. Um, there are seven in here, but there's one in here that is metallic. And I thought that that could be perfect. So there's like a kind of like a raspberry color. There's a grape color, like light blue. You've got the lime green, you've got the blue, you've got the standard black, which is always great. And then you've got a silver one here. So that was $5 and I thought that was a great deal considering that there's seven markers in here. And um, I paid $1.25 each for those three that I just showed you. Um, by the way, this is a kind of a collection of a couple different Dollar Tree stores. Oh, there's one more Sharpie. I knew I had one more green one. So, um, this is brand new. This is a travel battery powered uh, toothbrush. And uh, I'm gonna be traveling in November. I'm hoping to go somewhere in September, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna have to wait until November. And um, this is a battery operated toothbrush. How great is this for travel? It's perfect for that. It comes in its own case, protects the toothbrush. I'm excited about that. I don't know if it's soft bristle or medium or hard. Um, so we'll see how that's going to be. Uh, what else? Let's see, batteries. I always grab Dollar Tree batteries. I like the Dollar Tree batteries. I know a lot of people don't, but I actually like them a lot. Um, some styrofoam rings. Um, it's gonna be a lot of floral things that are gonna come up soon with the holidays. And uh, I wanted the floral blocks, but I did not see them. So I just grabbed the rounds just so I'd have something. Uh, pool noodles obviously work really good for that. Um, I am into cold brew coffee lately. If you guys saw my Aldi, haul that I did a couple months ago. It was, um, I think it was in July. Um, I went to Aldi and I bought some, some like clearance stuff and some different things. And they had a cold brew, uh, kind of cold brew coffee system. And uh, I'm addicted. I love it so, so much. And so I'm just experimenting with different coffees. This Cafe Moreno, I've had this before because this I will use for a lot of my Cuban coffees and stuff. And um, this one I bought because um, I want to try and make a whole cold brew pitcher of it. And then uh, this was a Jim Beam bourbon vanilla flavor that I thought could be good as well. The only thing with some coffees that I'm finding out with that cold press system is that um, some of them are too fine and they go through the sieve. That's what happened with my last batch that I made, unfortunately, so I couldn't drink it because it was filled with coffee grounds. I should probably get some coffee filters to be able to like strain them out or something. Um, 
Bought some gum. The one thing that uh, my realtor friends have taught me is that you always have gum and mints in your car because you never want to talk to a client and be showing the house and have bad breath. So we don't want that. Um, these are little tabletop directional signs. They're on like a little easel, super cute. Honestly, I was thinking for open house. Um, maybe I could redo what they say here. I could have them be directionals like, this way to the basement or this way to the kitchen. So I'm um, just kind of playing around with them. And then I also thought for the holidays, like a, you know, Santa stop here or something like that. I thought that that could be cute. Okay. If you're still with me, um, leave me a comment in the description box because I know I'm a little worried today. This I was super excited about. Have you seen these little chubby, um, kind of canisters. They've got the double line through them. So check this out. I was playing around with them in the store and I was thinking, okay, I could stack them and you know, make like a little Santa Claus because you could remove one of the lids. And then when I took the lid off of one of them, I went, hmm. And I grabbed one of these Dollar Tree vases. Now, if you've seen these Dollar Tree vases before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They come in two different sizes. Look. It fits perfectly. It fits perfectly. And you can make canisters. You could make canisters out of these if you wanted to. You could do all kinds of fun stuff with them. Does that not give you just a ton of really cool and different ideas? Like I know that um, I've seen people that have these kitchens, right? With these massively large islands. Well. I don't have anything like that. And they've got these great canisters filled with candy and oranges and like my kitchen's not that big, but I could do something like that and fill it with some candy corn and then maybe fill another one up with some, um, not gumdrops, but what's another fall candy? Like the maple nut goodies or some taffy or something like that. Like you can have a whole little candy station and you could do it by just getting these. And then the great thing about this is if you did, want to do a snowman. You stack these on top of each other, put the little hat on top of there, and then you've got the lids, and they're not going to waste because you can use them on top of your glass bases. How cool is that? Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I hit the sock jackpot when I was at Dollar Tree this time. I think I'm getting ready to break these. I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, sock jackpot. I'm trying to switch to some normal black socks and then I'm trying to also still have some fun socks, but trying to um, make the colors be a little more demure, <laughs> a little normal. Um, so I'm going with like blues and blacks and things like that. But these were really cute. They had like fish on them. I thought that they were really cute and they wouldn't look too crazy with some of my dress pants or anything. I love this gray camo one that I found. I thought that was cute. This pair of socks is not going to be probably for dress up dates. This is just like wearing around the house and just having fun with it. Um, look, it's got a Mr. Otis on it. It's got a little kitty cat wearing sunglasses. How cute is that? How cute are those? Um, Again, the color, I would just wear them around like with a pair of shorts and sweatshirt or a t-shirt or something and just wear them around the house. But um, love those. And then the mother load of black dress socks. Now, if you guys know this brand, Gold Toe. Gold Toe is a fantastic sock. Like I've been working in retail forever. Uh, when I did work in retail, Gold Toe was a sock that we sold and they were probably like eight dollars a pair or something like that this is a three pack and uh, their wool dress crew socks it's a three pack and they were a dollar 25 for three socks and so yes i grabbed three packages of them because i was thinking maybe two for myself maybe one to put in my dad's stocking um and quite honestly they'll probably all go in my drawers and uh, i'll figure out something else for him but um, <laughs> these are the balloons that I talked about that I got. Got some red balloons since I am working with Keller Williams and their colors are red and black. I wanted to do that. Um, bought some toothpaste because they had full-size bottles or full-size kind of tubes of, uh, they had the Colgate and this one you get 60% more free. And then this one 
is also Colgate, but it was only 25% free, but there's cavity protection here, and then there's baking soda and peroxide whitening in this one, and um, thought that they were just a great deal, and it was time to stock up on some toothpaste anyway, so why not grab them? Um, and then this was cute. You guys saw some other little um, kind of wood laser cutouts that they're coming out with. In my last haul, there was like rubber duckies and owls and things like that. And this has got the anchor and the ship's wheel. And then I think that is a lighthouse. It's kind of weird, to, kind of hard to see it there. But there's a lighthouse with a wave um, at the bottom of that. I don't really like that one, but I definitely like these two. And um, I don't know if I'll be able to use them right away because I'm kind of working on fall and Christmas stuff, honestly, but um, we'll see. And then this is fun, this light up cross. It comes with the little light. Um, I had to look through because there were quite a few lights that were missing, Dollar Tree. And, um, but cute, right? Cute light. And you could, I mean, this could be such an easy DIY. And you're probably gonna see this on my channel, but you could spray paint this gold. You could spray paint this white. You could spray paint this red. You can have a lot of these for the holidays. And also I was thinking, so it's got this little plastic thing on there. Obviously you would take that out, but what if you put an ornament hook on the top of that and then hung these in your tree? Maybe you have a smaller tree and you don't have lights or you just want something a little different. These could be really, really beautiful hanging in your tree. And then the um, last couple things that I grabbed. Um, so I do a lot of my grocery shopping on Amazon Prime. I, I use Amazon Fresh. And um, there's a lot of, um, things that I will get because one, I don't like going to the grocery store and uh, it's easier because I can get things delivered to me like right in the, in the morning, for example. Um, I can wake up at 7 a.m. and my groceries are already outside. I put them away and then I'm done grocery shopping. So I had some tuna in my cart because I'm trying to slim down and the tuna, um, is $1.25 at Dollar Tree. And this is, um, these are flavored ones. They're lemon pepper and then these are ranch. And the sodium on it, it wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. And um, $1.25, I had these in my Amazon cart and they were a $1.99 each, $1.25. Same exact ounces and everything. So I saved a little bit of money there. And then they had these bumblebee ones as well. These are just regular tuna and water. And then this is a pepper and sea salt one that I thought could be really yummy to create some stuff with. So um, I got some tuna, I got some tuna. And then the last thing that I got was a box of stuffing mix because this is the easiest meatloaf ever. If you take this and combine this with a pound of ground turkey, and you can even use two pounds of ground turkey because this will go a long way, especially because there is sodium in this as well. Um, I'm probably gonna take mine and mix it with two pounds, but uh, make two loaves, make a turkey meatloaf. All you need to do is take this, mix it with some water, and you can just use regular tap water, regular like lukewarm tap water, mix it all up, set it aside, let it get kind of puffy and fluffy, and then, mm -hmm take this, oops, there's thunder outside, take this and mix this with your ground turkey and don't over mix it. Put it in two loaf pans, bake them. I think I do mine at like 350, 375 for maybe 30 to 45 minutes. I don't, it's just until it's done. It is the best meatloaf ever. It's already seasoned. It's got tons of flavor in it and you can serve it with a salad, you can serve it with anything really, and it's super, super, super easy. So, speaking of easy, that's my Dollar Tree haul. That is everything. Um, it's kind of a mishmash, it's kind of a collection of stuff. This little thing right here, I love so, so much. Super, super happy with it. And uh, we're going to uh, bring you more DIY things very, very soon. All right guys, until next time, bye-bye.